All right, coming up next, it's a featherweight matchup between Bruce Lee and Conor McGregor. You ready? You ready? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. I know he draws a guy who can do a little bit better. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round. And the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent. He's walking gingerly on his leg. And one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. One kick is off. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. Got to slow down. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing. Oh, that's the biggest shot in the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Leg kick. Over and over, fighting behind the leg kicks. Nice kick landed there by McGregor. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. And I think many. Well-played shot there, DC. He is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? And a nice left hand there on the inside. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, exactly. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. Ready land. Great job. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, being active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, nice. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Gets up again here, but Hurton lands a big elbow. Oh, on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one kick to land a hard shot. It's another kick completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't. You ready? You ready? Big kick land. Able to check that kick as well. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committed to it fully. Oh. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. You got to whip his hip into that kick. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big knee to the body. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. 
big ball for the West Lens. Now he gets back to range. And just like that, the fight is over.